I'm Peter Loshek. We are previewing the 2013 Eastern Conference Finals in the NHL playoffs. We are talking right now with Ross Benjamin from rbwins.com. We just got finished uh, analyzing the series prices overall. Now we're going to take a look at the game one lines. Ross Benjamin, thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me, Peter. All right, Ross, you gave a great preview of the uh, series prices. You said you like Boston as a significant underdog, plus 166 on the series. Here we are in game one, though, at Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh is minus 166, Boston plus 153. Uh, the total is five and a half plus 107 uh, the, to the over. The under is minus 116. So I guess I'm assuming you're going to say that you uh, like Boston here, plus 153. Me personally, I would take the over and I would uh, buy it down to uh, five, maybe about minus 200 or so. Yeah, I'm, again, I'm going to take the Bruins to win the opening okay. game of the series. Um, both look, at both teams come off a of five-game series. Both are going to be plenty rested. Uh, Boston is 7-0 and against the money line the last two seasons when playing with three or more days rest. In addition, Peter, I have a nice NHL angle on this game where if a team is playing in the second half of the season, they have a starting goaltender with a save percentage of .915 or better, like Tuka Rask has, and they've had... 30 or more shots on goal over their last five games, which Boston has. They're 63 and 25 against the money line since the start of the 2008 2009 season. That's 71.9%, I believe, folks. That's a pretty good system right there. With all considered, and me already sticking my neck out uh, with Boston Bruins in the series, I'm going to take them in game one of the series as an underdog on the money line, Peter. All right, that's, a, that's an interesting system, Ross. Uh, how does that play in? Uh, does that include the playoffs? I mean, the playoffs are kind of a different animal than the regular season. Right, that includes the playoffs. That's uh, ordinarily, like I just alluded to, uh, it's game 43 and out into the playoffs. Um, in this particular instance, obviously in the strike short in season, uh, it was game 25 and out. So yes, that includes the regular season, second half, and playoffs, uh, all those games were included since the start of the 2008-2009 season. Okay. I guess I'm just worried that, uh, you know, Pitt at home, maybe the rest will favor them a little bit in game one, and, if, you know, they hand them a couple of easy power plays, that's going to be almost impossible for Boston to stop, right? Yeah, well, I mean, the bottom line is that that's an if. Right. Um, you've got to believe that the referees, I don't know, it all depends how this all plays out. Mm -hmm. If they anticipate a series – the referees that is and who knows what's in their mind they anticipate a physical series and they want to take control early right. or you start to see some cheap shots early yeah i guess that's the case i don't think that's the case i mean there's too much at stake here uh and the other and the other part of the equation is is you have two teams that are well rested like i alluded to mm -hmm. but i think this favors boston a lot more boston went through two physical series against toronto and the rangers Pittsburgh didn't have to go through the, I mean, it was physical, but nowhere near as physical as a series, in my opinion, than Boston went through in the first two series. So I think the rest helps the Bruins a little more. All right. Great preview. Ross Benjamin from rbwins.com sticking his neck out, taking Boston plus 153 to win game one. We will see how it turns out. Ross, thanks so much.